Good morning. Yo, it is astoundingly, astoundingly beautiful out. Here in New York, on the streets, guys. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I can't even explain it to you. Like, I haven't felt this weather in forever. Like, it's not, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Yo, hey, Christopher, damn, you running in here first. I am doing well, doing well. I can't believe this weather that we got going on here. Ambrose, good to see you. Hi, M. Zabrano. It is like a baseball cap, sunglasses type of day. This is the day to kick out the damn suntan lotion and go lay on the great lawn. Swear to God. I'm in, I'm, I'm like stunned. For real. Hey there, Rachel. Krill, how are you? Like, I don't know what to do with myself. It's so crazy. Bananas, for real. Walter, I had to like look and see what's the name is because it goes on a white background. I can't read it. <laughs> I know, for real. Hi, Leela. Hey, let me turn you guys around. Leave this weather. What? Like, what? Hey, Paul. Golden Goose, welcome in. Oh my God, it's like a damn miracle. Whew. You know what this tells me? This means I gotta get the damn air conditioner out soon. Yeah, there's always something I gotta do, weather related. Hi, enjoy Nantucket. Welcome in, welcome in folks. It is Monday, April 15th. You know what day that means, April 15th. For those of you that live in the United States, as I know we have a lot of people from abroad, but for all of those that are here in the U.S., that's dun, 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 tax day! Get those taxes done or file for a damn extension, which I have done many times. Hi, Stephanie Gray. Hi, Dave. Good morning. Good morning. We are earlier a little bit today because I woke up with the birdies. They were chirping been outside since when 8 30 wow hi good morning timothy chambers good morning the earth says hello it does we are gonna you know all these cars that are electric it's too weird guys the electric car thing where the car stuff shuts off when you get to a a stop freaks me out like you we don't hear it good morning david yeah, guys, it's tax day, April 15th. And they got a, and it's a damn Monday. Oh my God. I feel for all those people that are doing it right now. You're like, it's a Monday and it's tax day. Do you guys remember? Now, I know this is aging myself, dating myself, whatever the hell you want to call it. But do you guys remember when we had to go to the government offices, say the post office or the library, and we had to go pick up a billion and a half forms? You know, I mean, at least those that, you know, we didn't remember, they used to get mailed to us. And then if you somehow had to change your status, either you got married or, you know, you actually bought a house and you had to do the 1040 regular form and not the easy anymore. Like when you were single and you just lived, it was always the 1040 easy, which was like one sheet, one side, 10 questions. You know, and then you'd be like, I don't understand why people think doing taxes is so hard. Yeah, well, when you're 17 years old and, you know, you work at a local little place and you barely make anything, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> what is this? Is our taxes shut off is April 30th. Really? I hate to waste a nice days indoors. I know. Return those taxes, Bugs Bunny. Exactly. I'm laughing at all the tax things. It's so funny. Hi, Adriana. Good morning, Marie. Everybody else I miss, good morning. Because I'm walking and the sun is bright today. A beautiful day on the tax day. We are going to actually walk over to Central Park today. We're going to take a look and see how our front yard is doing. As those of you know, I always consider Central Park my front yard. Riverside Park is my backyard. And 
the rest of the city is my neighborhood. Today is a great day for a walk around the neighborhood or go out. Yes, definitely get some fresh air. Hello there, John. What store lady do I search for in Union Square? Well, her name is Blake. I think it's Blake. And her store is called Off the Wheat. She is a baker who specializes in baked goods that are keto, um, gluten-free, people who have celiacs, but keto specifically for people who are diabetic, sugar-free desserts, things like that. She does like muffins and donut holes and cakes and brownies and all that kind of thing. No. Would you eat a ton of them? No. Because a ton of anything isn't good for you. But when you want to indulge and have a little treat or snack or something, or you want that taste or that feel of a brownie, hers is honestly one of the best ones I have found. For real. And I, you guys know me, I don't. Okay, we're gonna hurry across. Even though we got cars coming, we're gonna move. We're moving, guys. I didn't even see this car in the end. Oh, damn. I'm just standing there. Oh, that's one of those electric starts. Electric cars that basically, I gotta ask on this one too, for those cars that are like that, that are a hybrid, you know, isn't that what those are? I wanna know if you go through your starter much quicker, I would think you would. Because if you think of all the times that you're driving your car, how many times you have to stop and go, especially in the city, you are restarting that car constantly. So I would think your ignition starter would burn out that much faster. I don't think they changed it, did they? It sounds the damn same. Leela Dindin, welcome in. It's amazing how many cars are like that now. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna keep going for my my gasoline car. Give me a good combustion engine that's gonna drive. I, I that's I have to do that. I don't live in a place where I can do that other thing. Is that the lady there every weekend or no? No, she's usually there every weekend. But just recently, she's changed her schedule because she might be at other things or she was sick or she was traveling, because you know. She's like a one person show pretty much. And just like everybody, we all need a vacation. So I give it, to, we, we let her live. Even though we go, we wanted a brownie. Oh, it's amazing weather, weather Galavanter. Hi, Zabados. We have a carbon tax? No. Oh my God, not a carbon tax. Hell no. I swear to God. Now they're gonna make us pay a tax for the damn air we breathe. For real. Sometimes, just let us live. You know, hi Liz, how are you? that do tap. It's gonna be, get this today. When I saw the number, I had to double check and make sure that I had the right city. Guys, it's supposed to be 77 degrees. Oh my God. She's just drinking her, she's drinking her 7-Eleven coffee. Behind I don't know. Is it a dumpster? Is it a thing? I don't know. It's the cop doing her coffee. No carbon tax in America. Hopefully not. Damn. They tax us on everything. Oh, she got her little puppy in tow. But yeah, I knew it was going to be warm today, so I got out the shorts. I think I might buy a couple more pairs of these in different colors. I don't know. They're comfortable. They got pockets. They're simple. They'll probably wash it. They wash up really well. 
Yes, they're from Costco. Don't give me any grief about it. But when you want just a pair to like walk in that don't look like a pair of leggings, these are fine. Yeah. But yeah, it's at 77 degrees today, guys. On April 15th, tax day. I feel like today everything should be free and the government should pay for it today. You want to go out to dinner because you did your taxes? Go. We'll, the government will take care of it. I wish that was true. You need a coffee. You need a Starbucks. We'll give you one. Here you go. And then there's an app because, you know, there's an app for everything. I wish there was an app that you just go, eh, 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 eh. So if you need food, water, caffeine, damn dozen donuts to get you through your taxes, let the government pay for it. Do you know how small that would be in comparison to how much for real that we pay in taxes? They say if you get it done by this time and you turn your taxes in, you get this free on your app. Think about that. Talk about people getting their taxes on, on time. If you come to Italy, we'll see you. Oh my God, Francesco, I would love to go to Italy. Carbon taxes for fossil fuel, oh my God. Oh, the smog tax we paid to our cars, smog that they were over five years old. My car is way over five years old, for real. Nobody can afford to buy a car anymore every five years. It's just stupid ridiculous. And they're gonna what? Force me to get an electric one, which means that my battery will die. I, I, I swear to God, every time there's like some big thing, I'm gonna wait and wait and wait and wait till they work out all the bugs, the kinks, and everything else out of the damn thing. The government takes so much money from us every single year. I feel like we should get every single dime back that we had to pay in tax. Well, we can't, and I can understand that we don't get every big dime. We don't, because we gotta pay for services and things, and this is just the American way. We pay for stuff, and then granted, if we lived in another country, the taxes that are taken out would be much higher, for real. Your services and your health insurance and all that stuff is different, but you know, every country is different. This is us. I get it. He's got his tunes playing on his thing. Hey, RJ, how are you? Hi, Clara. Look at this weather. I mean, there's hardly a cloud. I'm like looking around. There's like not even barely a cloud in the sky. Ooh, for all of you fellow pale Casper ghost friendly people, AKA me, you know, who I'm sure my legs are currently blinding people. Make sure you guys maybe put a little sunscreen on if you're gonna be out in the sun all day. Just saying. Yeah, if you don't have health insurance, you get penalized on taxes. Yeah, you do. You gotta figure that out. Um, and you gotta really look into it. Make sure that you got something handled there. Because there are our ways and stuff. It's crazy, but like I said, no system is perfect. We have a system that kind of clunks along. That's what it is. Am I changing it myself? No. Oh, this tree is pretty much got all of its blossoms going. Hi, Jasmine, welcome in. It is such a gorgeous day. We pay taxes here. What does that say, Gallivanters? And month when you buy a vehicle and then there's ta pay taxes like every year again. Yeah, you gotta pay, for, get your tags so you can use your vehicle. And then it gets less and less as, ta as your car ages, I think. Here in New York, you pay for them every other year. 
but then you got to make sure your missions test is done every year, which, yo, that's a joke, man. That is such a joke. Taxes suck, but we all have to pay them, and that's just part of life, unfortunately. 1,000 million percent true, Marie. Yeah. I feel like she's going to mail hers right now. She's got a FedEx package. They're like, yay, we finished them today. We're going to go drop them off. I finished mine this weekend. And I was like, oh, just get it done. All right, person with your horn honking, go out there and fix your car. Nobody needs to hear that. What is that? A constant? What if you're, hey, what about that? What if your alarm goes off like that and you have no consequences on it, but it's just something that your car's going off? Do you get, do you get penalized? Like what if somebody tried to break in your car and that's your alarm? It's that Range Rover right there. Oh, now it's off, but like he would have gotten penalized, right? $25 no matter the age of the car in Augusta, really? Oh man, that's not us. I think at one point when we got our car brand new, it was like 270 some dollars, something like that. It was something insane. We were just like, oh, 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 choke for real. Michelle King, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. It's a little warm already. Oh look, this associated got a new front to make them look not so damn sketchy. For real, we got the Pizza Hut in the Associated Supermarket, so you can get your pizza. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. I totaled forty thousand dollars in horn taxes thus far as Ambrose. <laughs> True, right? Isn't that insane? I just really wonder about that. That thing was going off like constantly. I gotta look this up on the internet. I gotta find out somebody who actually got stuck with a bill. I really wonder. When I bought my RAV4 in Tucson, the first year, oh my God, $400? I would pass out. They'd have to like revive me at the damn office. Happy tax day to all who celebrate or dread, says Rob Law. I know. For real. That's why we're taking a walk into the park. By the way, you guys can kind of still see my bee sting there. Much better. Definitely has gone down now. It just looks like a damn bruise. Here in North Carolina, we pay yearly tax on the value of our car personal property. Yeah, Central Park is definitely calling us, Isabella. Maryland, wow. Look at, look at how green it's getting, guys. I'm gonna say in another week, these are gonna be fully leafed out. One more week. One more week and when we're in the park, we won't be able to see the buildings barely. All right, we got a walk sign. Walkie walkie. It's gonna be, we're gonna be getting into these days where we're gonna have to be getting out by 10 o'clock to beat the heat of the day. that or maybe taking the taking the subway and we're gonna be heading into like the beach hey let's go look at make sure no bike's gonna take me out wow look at the grass guys look at this that's good about the beast thing yeah I did take an antihistamine. I took some liquid Benadryl. When, they, when something like that happens, give me the liquid. I'll just start sucking it down like a damn juice box. I know. Don't move to Canada if you hate taxes, says Robert. I know. Allergies are okay. They're kind of under control at the moment. I am dealing with a bit of that, you know, post-nasal thing, drip in the back. 
Look at this dog walker. He's got, wait, how many? One, two, three, four, plus an extra person and another one. Hey, CJ. I know, Central Park, love it. Look at how green it's getting, guys. Oh my God, there's a park ranger out there. Park rangers are doing a service. They even got the little Smokey the Bear hat on. That's what I call those, remember that? Only you can prevent forest fires. Love it. I can add the bees into the game. Yeah, they're like one of those sub gangs, right? Oh, look at this little, getting his little, they're looking for worms. Wow. It is amazingly gorgeous out today. <gasps> Breathtaking. Love. Oh, and look at those. Those are not yellow, they're white. What? White narcissus? Pale, pale yellow? Maybe it's my sunglasses, I don't know. <sighs> Kinda loving it. Okay, here's a question. Do we walk in nature today? I'm kinda thinking a walk in nature. What do you think? Your allergies flipped out this weekend being outside? Oh no, Rob Law, what pissed me off in Canada? People with no native blood, they have a tax-free native card. I have no idea, Robert. I have no idea how that works. But you know what, Robert? I'm gonna tell you something. If there's a will, there's a way, and there's always gonna be somebody who's gonna be able to beat somehow or figure out a way to get around the system. You know how that goes. And the question is, you have to ask yourself, what kind of person are you? Oh, I get, I get it. I get it, Rachel. Nature. Remember Naughty by Nature? Yeah, I do. That's funny. Naughty by Nature. We're going to do nature then today. We're not going to stick by the road. We're actually going to walk into the woods. Let's not get lost. Oh, she's cute. Talking about the little dog, but the baby is cute too. <laughs> We're going to listen to the babbling brooks and falls of Central Park. Kind of love it. Yeah, Robert, it's common. Good morning, Karen Chambers. I want to let you know your walking is such an inspiration. Well, thank you. Walking has helped me so much in these latest few years of my life. Swear to God, it has centered me. It's given me peace. It's actually propelled me more into doing things that I want to do. Adriana's probably tired of seeing green. She's dealing with the masters, as in golf. Ooh, the ground is wet. It must have been raining. It was raining yesterday. Last night, it was raining. We had a couple of big storms that came through. I didn't hear thunder, but they were pretty darn big. Let's go sit over here because nobody's here. Let's go take a look and stare at the water for a little bit. Oh, we got some Canadian visitors, Canadian geese. Doo -doo -doo. Nice big bench here for Margaret Hawley. Thank you, Margaret, for having your bench. Hey, Bombi Rivera, how are you? Are you or were you ever a tree climber? No. I mean, there was one little tree we would climb, but I wouldn't get very far into it because I was too scared of falling out of it. Paul, Josh is doing well. Every day is another day that he takes a step towards getting better. Adriana, you're okay with seeing green? Golf balls and people swinging them, not so much, yeah. All depends on your mood. What kind of walking music do I listen to? Sometimes if I feel fiery, I'm listening to Billy Idol. Other times, if I want nature, I'm listening to Enya. So it, it goes the whole gamut, for real. We had huge storms here yesterday. Every yesterday eve with dime-sized hail. I heard that there was there was like hail coming. 
right? Isn't this a beautiful view? It's so gorgeous. We have a few things. Oh, people are uh, bird watching way over here. You can see them with your binoculars. That's what people come out to the park to do. A lot of locals will come out, bring their binoculars, their ginormous lenses, and they bird watch. They're looking for the next flocko. We got a couple of Canadian visitors down here. See, tink, tink. Oh, little mallard coming by. Little male mallard. You can hear the ducks. Now, Central Park is on the migratory path, so we do get birds from everywhere because we have nice big bodies of water here. I know, Din Din, can you see that? Oh, Rachel, you're in Alberta. Good to know. The mallard's over there honking. Quack, 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 quack. It's so good to sit in the park. Wow, you recently, Karen, you recently had a knee injury and for the first time walked three miles yesterday. Oh my God, good to, good for you. Take it easy. Make sure you rest it, ice it. Put cream on it if you need to, because you know me, I know about the knee injury. I still deal with them every single day. And every day I start walking, I can hear it click. It clicks once just to get back in place from sitting down or gets issues, but one of the best things, I swear to God, probably full of BS, but is I have to make sure I drink plenty, 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 and plenty, and over plenty amounts of water. It really does keep the swelling down. Aggressive seagulls, Isabella True. Everywhere, ever since, good morning, Rhonda. Is it Rhonda? Or wait, I'm sorry, not Rhonda. Ronnie. Good morning, Ronnie. Um, ever since I was attacked by seagulls in Florida, I now know they're vicious. <gasps> really, Tintin? This Saturday will be our one-year anniversary of meeting? Oh my God, that's amazing. I love it. I love meeting people from everywhere, especially through YouTube. I think it's so cool, either through my channel, other channels, because we see each other in different rooms and different channels and stuff and I just love that by the way guys for those of you that are part of the yo club and not you're at the, the the middle level I think and above you guys are gonna be getting buttons soon if you guys have reached your little goal I know I'm about a month or two behind on those but buttons are gonna be going out so be aware that if I post your name in the in the in the community page for members only please and I need your email, your address, not your email, because there's no way I can email a button to you. But I need your mailing address. Do me a favor, send it to me, okay? I think I've got a lot of people's addresses, but I know we have some new members and such. And sometimes if you are just a member and you want me to have your mailing address, do me the favor, drop it to me at my email, because every so often I like to send out just random stuff for no reason at all. I do. And remember, we've got new buttons. Like we have the I can't button, which actually I need to get in a store. The I can't button, the yo all these other buttons. I made a bunch of them. You had to start over. No fair. No, don't worry about it. Guys, it keeps track of how many, even if it was a random and different months. Even if it's like you were here in January, but you missed February, but you came back in March and then you missed it. Don't worry about it. It keeps an accumulative. It does, I swear to God for real. Don't worry about it. Hi, Mrs. Metalhead. Yeah, button, button. Who's got the button? I think a lot of people here have received the buttons. Like I said, if I don't have your address, I can't send them to you. There's no way for me to get them to you. Fafa, what you up to today? Hey, Susan E. We're sitting here in Central Park, taking in the view right here by the I don't know, is this called the lake, the pond? What is this called? I always forget. They call them, they call them general bodies of water. You know, like lake, pond, whatever. And it's annoying. I wish they'd say the blah, blah, blah lake. Like the Harlem Mirror is actually called the Harlem Mirror. But it, if you notice, that's after a body of water. It's kind of annoying. 
was your child by me? I don't know. You guys, there's a little turtle right here. Look. Turtle. Turtles are up. Oh my god, look at the turtles way over there. You guys want to see them? Hang on. Look at them all. Holy moly. That's a lot of turtles. Water is great for keeping the swelling of legs. Yes, it is. I've never heard of that. Furosemide has helped. Really? What the hell is that, Romachek? You're going to have to email me. Yeah, it's kind of like a water on the knee. Wear sunscreen. They didn't have it when I was younger, and today I'm going for my... Oh, no. Really, William? Ugh. Yeah. Sunscreen, guys. Make sure you wear hot, a hat, a floppy hat or something to keep it off your thing. Keep it off your face. I do that all the time. I also always wear good sunglasses because I'm vain. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I'm vain and I don't want wrinkles around my eyes. For real. And if you squint, you will get wrinkles around your damn eyes. I don't want them to come any faster than they already are. But plus, it also helps your eyes. You know, safety. Hey, Michelle King, how are you? Oh, the crying baby arrived. That means we leave. No, 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 no to the crying baby. That disrupts my peace, my zen, my chill. Oh, the willow tree is getting green already. Good morning, Gail. How are you? It is a beautiful spring day here in New York. What's wild to me is that some places could possibly have snow still. That to me blows my mind. I've experienced those places, but still, I'd be like, no, no to the snow. What did you say? It's an RK. Oh, wait, I can't even read that. Hang on a minute. I'm scrolling back. It's a diabetic, but also helps blood pressure. One. Oh. Oh. I do pee a lot. I, I go a lot. And thanks for the walks. I'm unable to as I've gotten older. Oh, that's so good, Diana Lee. I'm glad that you're able to enjoy them. Mama Terry, how are you? Good morning from beautiful Costa Rica. Weather is beautiful and humid, but humid. Oh my God, you're zip lining. Oh my God, good luck to you. Enjoy that. A sombrero. I wonder if it would be really hot. They're made out of straw. Are those hot? You keep hearing Romachuk while watching the Boston Marathon coverage. Is the Boston Marathon happening soon? I don't even know. You can tell that I'm not a runner. By the way, so good to see everybody here today. Oh, look at minions. Minions. They all stand with their hands on a rope. Hopefully nobody runs amok. And takes them all with them. Look at these little, like, what are they, bluebells? Blue something? Those are pretty. Probably a weed. But, you know. We'll say it's pretty. Here we are at the little waterfall area. I love this space. It's so nice and beautiful. People riding their bike. Oh my god! We're gonna let those. We're gonna let them go for a little bit because I don't want to be on the trail. Not with that. Children are wonderful, but I have passed that point in my life. Is it the same as zip lining on Fremont Street, only different? Yeah, probably. Hopefully there are no Zarnav, you know, I hope not. Central Park, absolutely, Papaskew. It's a gorgeous day here in the neighborhood, so I figured we gotta go do this. Yeah, 
just so you guys all know, all the water features, all the water things in and around Central Park are completely man-made and crafted. I do think out of all the parks here in New York City, Central Park is my absolute favorite. Yeah, following camera, following kids with a camera, kind of weird. I try to avoid that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This isn't called the pond nor the lake or a mirror. It's called the pool. Does this make any sense, guys? It's literally called the pool. It's a big ass pool. I do too, Caroline. The altitude is way higher than Fremont. Yes, it is. Costa Rica. I would love to go to Costa Rica. Oh no, don't tell me they're going down too. Come on. Okay, we're gonna wait and see if they pass. I hope they're passing. I hope they're going on a picnic, not on a walk. I think they're going, okay, they're going on a picnic. That's good, that's good. Oh my God. Bless you people who take care of the little children because whew, I remember those days when I would be like the chaperone on trips and excursions for my son's school when he was little. And they always, they always gave me the child that was the most difficult. They're like, but Angela, you do such a great home. Mrs. Ms. Homick, you do such a great job, Angela. Angela, you do a great job. I'll be like, no, I don't want them. And Josh would just look at me. I'm like, I can't fix it. For real. There's the waterfall, guys. Oh, that was so true. A big ass ball. Whoever engineered the park was brilliant. They were brilliant. Absolutely. Oh, Mama Terry, no truer words. Gotta live life while you can. We slept in a net covered tree house that sounds of the, oh my God. I think that sounds wonderful, but also I probably would be scared to death of all the sounds I'd hear. Yes, it's net covered, but if some bug started buzzing around my net, you would hear me screaming. There would be screams coming from that net Spooky, spooky. One day I'm gonna do this and there's gonna be a person sitting there and I'm gonna shy. I'm telling you, I feel that happening one day. You miss walking through Central Park and the memories of school field trips, really? Oh, Jasmine, I'm, well, maybe you can capture some of that here. I do love walking through here, it is. I feel absolutely blessed that I can do this and enjoy it. Every single day I live here, I know. I have to say to you guys, make sure you enjoy where you live. If you don't enjoy where you live, change it. Look at this ground cover. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh my God, don't say the Kale, Kale Pennywise. Oh my God, I would piss. Oh, they got this closed. Those little walkway trails closed. Probably because they just laid down this cedar. They're probably waiting for it to, you know, I don't know, get pounded down. You're so damn tired of putting on bug spray. I can't even imagine. This ground cover though, whatever it is, I love. Like, I think we should have this instead of lawn. Because if you think about it, <laughs> well, Lana's just a bunch of little short no. green. No, you know? You were a crossing guard for almost a decade, see, Jim? Oh my God. Wow, they must have redone all the trails. All the off trails, look. All redone. 
Hey Manolo, welcome in. I know Pennywise probably does live in that little cave. It's scary. Looking through the looking through the little forest we have here. The woods. This is the northern woods of Central Park. And as you can see, as it starts to fill in, it's really going to start to muffle the sounds of the city. Now they're working in the park. That's the engine that you hear. They're currently working. Let's go take a look over the water. The engineering that went into all of this is amazing to me. Lots of garlic keeps everything away. Oh my God. Still, I would be crying. <sighs> yeah, don't be reading Stephen King and then go through a walk in the woods. Don't do that. You're gonna have crazy dreams. I used to read Stephen King all the time. All the time. I would buy the books like a crazy person, then I'd rent them from the, I would borrow them from the library. You don't really rent them, you borrow them, right? I guess it's rent, but I don't know. I always thought of it as borrowing. Because you brought it back, you didn't pay for it. Now we're by the babbling brook. That's what I call it. Bibbly babbly. Oh my goodness, Mama Terry, $50 super chat to celebrate your birthday month. Mama Terry, you are so generous. Thank you so much for that. Yes, it is my birthday month, guys. April, for all of you April babies out there, happy birthday, either belated, early, or on time. What's my favorite Stephen King? Mmm, God, there's so many. I know a lot of people enjoyed The Stand. The only problem I had with The Stand is that it was too damn long, okay? It was very long and there's been many makes of it and stuff out there in movies and such. But I really, really thought Stephen King was, oh my God, chipmunk. I know I'm getting off the thing, but chipmunk, chipmunk, Chippendale. I love chipmunks, by the way. One of my favorite park little creatures. But I really think Stephen King was his best in the short stories. When he did the compilations of all of the short stories to me, that was the best. Because he was able to give such a vibe, such a feel in such a short time. And I think short stories are quite often like overlooked for big novels and big books. I really love the short story. Sometimes I feel like they have way more impact. Hey there, Treat 99. I wanna visit Salem after Salem's Lot, have you been? Yes, I have been to Salem. That was one of our first trips out east. We lived in the Midwest. We're originally from Michigan. Oh my God, this bird. Guys, I know you guys can barely probably see him. Where is he? There he is. He's got like the head of a chipmunk. For real. Hi, Dahlia Rose, how are you? <clears throat> But um, that was one of our first trips out east. We were driving by and I said, I wanna go to Salem. And we went to the House of Seven Gables. This is back when I did black and white photography and all of that other stuff. So I have lots of pictures from that and things. Very interesting, very spooky and stuff. But uh, you know, the East Coast is an old area and stuff, but yeah. Went out there, saw all that. My short stories always became long ones, so I gave it up, oh my God. I always, I, I just always have loved the short stories. 
I think they must be redoing all of the little trails here because they're all closed off. They probably close them all off at one time, redo them so they can be set. Because they do get muddy, guys, and they don't need people tearing them up right away. You've been here a lifelong mass and have only been on Salem on a field trip as a kid. Really, Gail? For real? Your son lives in Salem. He does? Treaton. Why didn't you tell me that? That's interesting. I want to go there. Like, I love all the East Coast spooky stuff, guys. You know that I live very close to Sleepy Hollow. Oh, tour guide. They're talking about birds. Wait, listen. Listen. Let's see if we hear it. Do you hear it? That's a woodpecker. You might be able to vaguely hear it. I only... He's knocking. Love the sounds of nature. Even when I lived in Minnesota, one of my favorite things to do was to sit in my backyard because you know, that's what you did. You'd sit in your backyard and you would listen to everything around you. I lived in a very treed lot. Our, our area was, look at that fountain, beautiful. I think two men engineered Central Park. Yes, I don't remember their names, guys. If somebody said them, I think it's Olmstead. And I can't remember the other guy's name. There's a kid named Salem. That's wild. Isn't that beautiful? People come down here to paint all the time. But I loved sitting outside, just listening to the birds and then trying to identify them. That was one thing my grandfather could do. He would be like, that's a blue jay, that's a robin. That's a blah, blah, blah woodpecker. This path is still closed. They're still working on the arch. Look, they gotta fix it. You have a woodpecker in your backyard, his name is Woody, Marie? Wow. Let's go this way. We're gonna walk over here. We're gonna walk up a little bit. We're gonna do our little circuit like we do. This is about as much off-roading as I do anymore on trails because we don't need to get that rigorous. I will advise guys, when you are walking this, make sure you have good footing because sometimes the rocks can get slippery. Did you watch the movie or not? Uh, yes, I saw the first one. I have to tell you, I was Joe was so tired this weekend, and it is because he had a rough week at work. Lots going on. An Englishman, Frederick Law Olmsted. Yes, Calvert Vo. Thank you, Olmsted and Vo. They're the ones who designed Central Park. Thank you, Leonard. I knew somebody was going to pop in here. I always crack up because I know the information, but it's filed in the back filing cabinet. I can't reach it. You know, you know how that goes? You have the info in your head, but it's in the back filing cabinet. I'll probably remember now. Hit. Wow. It is, it's so beautiful. 
I'm already getting hot with this hat on. Thank God I wore shorts. I would have been smoldering in leggings. I have to be on the lookout for, for chipmunks. They should install a zip line in Central Park. No. You know where they do install a zip line? They install a zip line down one of the avenues. In the summer, when they do summer streets, they actually have a zip line sometimes that is put down. I don't know what avenue it is. I don't know if it's 6th, 5th, Broadway, somewhere. And they put in a damn zip line. Got the ver ferns coming up. Oh my God. I love it. Oh, she taking the high road. Honey, I'm taking the low road. Yes, do me a favor. Thank you, Treaton. This is called the ravine and the lock. The ravine and the lock, but we don't have a lockless, mo a lockness monster. A mini zip line, yeah, it's like a little mini zip line. Will I do it? No. I probably will not do it. Because, I, I, yeah, I, I can't. All I think about is what if something goes wrong? I know, you guys are say, you have to live. <laughs> no, I can live with my feet, you know, not strapped up to a damn harness and some nylon. Why is Gabe always looking at me while pointing at his watch? Oh my God. I pray everyone has a great week. Well, hey, Mama Terry, don't keep Gabe waiting. You gots to go. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, it was too gentlemen. And thank you for that information. Olmsted and Vogue. Are the squirrels crazily chatting yet? They chatter, but not as, I think they only do it certain times of the day. <coughs> For real. Happy Boston Marathon. Oh, it is the marathon today, really? Well, thank you for letting me know, Kimberly. Good to know. So like my grandfather would be able to tell you what bird that is. Me, on the other hand, absolute no idea. Look at that tree blossoms. Oh, beautiful. You've only been to the southern area? Oh my God, beach bum. You have to get to the northern part. The northern part of Central Park is beautiful. And it's more nature. You know what I mean? You really feel like you're maybe in upstate New York or upstate whatever. Like I've always felt like one of the things that I loved about where we lived for 15 years was in Minnesota. And one of the parts that I always loved was the vibe of the woods. There were so many around us. And that's one thing I'm glad I don't have to miss. A morning baseball game in, oh, Boston too. Wow. Yes, be safe, Mama Terry. Make sure they strap you in well and that there should be a drink at the end of that zip line for you. As you're in Costa Rica, let it be rum or tequila. I don't know if that's the drink down there, but sounds good to me. Any drink with rum or tequila in it is summer. Oh, he's found a bird or something. I don't know what he's looking at, but they're birders and they got their cameras. working 
They're just working on it. It's the Red Sox. Hi, Steve D. Hey, how you doing? I did respond back. Guys, I'm trying to be much better about responding to messages on my Instagram and all of those messenger. I fell out of it, you know, in January when Josh was in the hospital, just because, I don't know, I did. And I'm trying to get back on that horse and follow up and pay attention and do my gig. So thank you guys for giving me that bandwidth. We're going by Spooky Cave again. One day I'm gonna find Joe sitting in there eating a hot dog. For real. Here we go. Hello! Nobody's there, thank God. <laughs> this is the area I call Ariel's Grotto. I really do feel like that's what it feels to me. It vibes like that. My son is going to give me the money to skydive. No way, Susan E. will enjoy it. I had a friend who did that quite often and I would go and watch her and I would have heart palpitations every single damn time. Look, he got his smoky bear hat on. For real. She got a Carl Lagerfeld sweatshirt on. She, she likes Carl. I've never seen this part of Central Park. It's beautiful. Yeah, Summer, it's beautiful here. I mean, Central Park is gorgeous, but in springtime, on friggin' believable gorgeous. That's how I view. It's amazing. People are out all the time enjoying it. Come evening today, I'm gonna guarantee you, I could probably say this with absolute certainty. This lawn, starting to already, will be covered, not completely, but there'll be a lot of locos out here having a picnic. That's what happens. Because you're like, oh my God, it's beautiful out. Let's go have a picnic and you have to get the picnics on. In New York, picnicking is like a way of life. Why eat inside? Unless it's like 110, you know, or 95 and humid. You're gonna try to eat outside if you can. All the outdoor dining options, not talking about the dining sheds, I'm talking about the street cafes will be in full swing. For real. What's that? We got a whole park bench here. One, two, three, four, five. Available for us to sit on. Moms all or, or you know, child care providers come out to the park all the time with your charges. We're gonna sit right here with Gina. And take a look. No bees, okay, perfect. We don't want any bees. Look at all those bikers up there. Holy moly, that's a lot. That's a lot of cyclists. You don't picnic too many bugs? Oh, I'm fine. Hey, Bill Coleman. How are you doing there, friend? I know my front yard is looking fabulous, right? So many people out today. <coughs> you can hear the workers taking care of everything in the park from down the tree limbs, plantings, grass. Oh my God, it's so beautiful.
Pay very close attention to the landing instructions, says Mama Terry. I don't know, but you are absolutely right. Gail, a simple bologna sandwich always tastes better at the beach, as long as there's no sand in my sandwich. I'm so glad you caught me live too, Bill. Good to see you. It's spring again. Isn't that fabulous? Hi, Jim Einhouse. Good morning. She's walking her e-bike. I wonder if she ran out of power. Let's try to remember. I got to try to remember. This is not called a pond, a lake, nor anything like that. It's called the pool. <coughs> the pool. In fact, I'm going to grab, because I'm getting that weird cough again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm going to grab a cough drop. Wee, cola. We're gonna try to get Treat 99 to eat outdoors this year. <laughs> we'll put it out in the back, her back deck. She's got a nice back deck. Look at that sky, it's so blue. Marie Boca, enjoy your outdoor yard work. Sometimes it's so good when you come back in, you feel like, wow, I accomplished something, right? I know I did. Not that I want to do yard work anymore. Yard work I want to do now is, I don't know, putting my blanket on the lawn here in Central Park or Riverside. That's about as far as I get. Moving twigs from underneath my blanket. The time difference between LA and New York makes it hard to catch you. It is. It's three hours, isn't it? So 10 o'clock here is 7 o'clock your time. I'm on in the morning. Got to catch me when you're having your morning coffee. You didn't know New York was so beautiful? Dahlia Rose, New York is... A kaleidoscope of so much. There's so many parts that make New York City what it is. I know a lot of people think New York is concrete and so many people. And it is, but there's also a lot of green spaces. There's a lot of culture, a lot of that. Now that was just my little short walk through the woods. There was a stink bug in your kitchen this morning. So hubs will be sprained from, oh my God. God, I do not miss the bugs. Oh my God. I know we can get bugs here. And you know, we do. But the bugs I would get in the house in Minnesota, man. They had me running. I'm telling you, even these people are out here in the, in the park. Like they would just make me lose my shares. Hi, Sherry. Is it Richie? Salute. Salute to you. Joe wants an adult stroller. I swear. He cracks me up with that. So yeah, back to Joe. He was extra tired this weekend, guys, because he had a rough week. A lot of late nights at work. It was hard. And his allergies, which he swore he didn't have before, but he has. Although not quite as bad as mine. They were kicking his butt. And I had to tell him, 
Sometimes you just gotta figure out which concoction of allergy meds works. Summer, I think so too. You freeze the stink bugs and toss them outside? No. If a bug crosses into my abode, yo, I take that, cause I'm choking at my thing. I take that as an aggressive move and you're dead. Phones never stay in, it gets frustrating. You know what? I have a problem with my AirPods. This is the problem I have with them. Anytime you drop the case, the top flips open and the AirPods go flying. So it turns into a thing of hide and seek with them. It's one reason why I really like, I love the AirPod idea because you don't have the wire. But the fact that they pop out of the AirPod case when it falls to the ground ticks me off. Because, oh man, if that falls to the ground when you're in the subway or something like that, kiss them goodbye. Um, we usually take Allegra, but they were out of the size Allegra we wanted and we had to get the small one, which was like almost seriously twice the cost. So we bought Claritin. And for me, it's been okay. It's been all right. It's been working. But Joe wants his Allegra back, so we'll have to go pick some of that up. But even with that, sometimes, guys, the allergies can get so bad that you almost need like a booster for allergies. I don't think it's been super bad yet because we've had a lot of rain. And what the rain does is it kind of washes the pollen down and out. But when it's hot and dry in spring and it starts blowing, those are bad days. That's why they call them bugs, yeah. <sighs> that was a nice little walk. Not too warm, warm enough. I am gonna have to wheel that air conditioner out and, you know, prompt Joe to attach it because he likes to do that stuff because it makes him feel like, you know, he man. Triflonase for allergies. My daughter is allergic to everything and that stuff keeps her clear. Really? All right, RFD. I may have to. Yeah, we like to do the thing that's like a 24 hour thing. Pump, pump, be done. I mean, if it gets really bad, then it's a Benadryl. All depends. And then one thing I have to remember in the springtime or whatever, don't touch your face. You know, after being outside, you come in, you wash your hands, you know, but you try not to touch your face. Don't rub your eyes. Because once that happens, it's over. Once you touch your eyes, you have lost the damn battle. I will tell you though, since we don't have dogs in the house anymore, it's not nearly as bad as it was before because the pollen gets in the dog's fur, the dog comes inside the house, lays on everything, sleeps with me, you know, because I love my pups, but my allergies would be, on a scale of one to 10, they'd be a 20. Hmm. <clears throat> Flonase worked well for you too, Gail? Or maybe we'll have to try that. Getting Joe to do something like that, I can imagine that's gonna be like a learning curve. I know him. Having Joe do eye drops. You've never had a bug problem in your apartment. You were so lucky. All right. 
get harnessed up, Mama Terry. Enjoy it. Take pictures. I want to see something. You zooming down things. I would love to see the view. I'm sure it's amazing. You're going to try Flonase treating? You have to let me know. Oh, little Fiat. Looks like a roller skate. They look like a roller skate for real. Okay. Time to walk. Come on, guys. I did a little Central Park walk there. That was good. For those of you that are still doing your taxes this wonderful, beautiful day, good luck. I wish you well. If you need extra coffee, grab an extra cup. If you need a drink after you're done, have two. Because you deserve it after that. You know, it's never easy. Like I said, just do it. And if you can't get it done, it's too much of a stressor, then you know what? Just file for an extension, then you got till October. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on this little walk here in my in my front yard. My front yard. I'm going to go back and get some work done so that I can have a clear and easy weekend and stuff. Everybody, I know it's only Monday, but I want to get this stuff done early. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. And like I said, for those that are part of the Yo Club and you want to send me your address, please do so. Email address is Angela NYC Day at gmail.com. Drop it to me. I will not ever use it for anything else. I will never sell it. I won't ever do anything like that. So where to you? I don't do that. But never know. Every so often I'm dropping stuff in the mail. And for those Yo Club members that have been members for three months or more at the second level, I can't remember what it is. I'll make sure I get those buttons out to you guys. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.